The donkey kick can not only be a great move to help you activate your glutes and establish that mind-body connection, but also create volume to increase your muscle hypertrophy. Hey guys, it's Corey from Redefining Strength, and today I wanna to talk about that oh-so-fundamental movement, the donkey kick. There are three very common mistakes I see people making. And while form isn't black and white, we do wanna make sure we're dialing in our form to have proper recruitment patterns, which means we wanna make sure we're using the correct muscles to perform the movement. Because the donkey kick is a great way to establish that mind-body connection and activate those glutes, we need to make sure we actually feel our glutes working. So I wanna go over three ways to dial in your form to improve those recruitment patterns and get those glutes working effectively. Often with basic movements, we don't give them the attention they need and we don't focus on what we actually feel working during. We just sort of go through the movements. But you really wanna focus on getting your glutes to activate and that recruitment pattern during this exercise to get more out of it. Because the whole point of including this movement is to establish that mind-body connection and get your glutes activated and working before you either go into your runs or even your heavy lifts. It's also a great way to add a little bit more volume and really fatigue the muscle fully. So what are three key tips to help you dial in not only your form, but also your recruitment patterns? Tip number one is don't get too focused on lifting up higher. A lot of times to replicate a movement pattern, we get very focused on trying to get a bigger range of motion, but you wanna focus on what you actually feel working during this move. So you really wanna focus on that glute driving that hip extension. Often we'll see people arching their lower back excessively to try and lift up higher or even rotating open. But you wanna focus on your glute almost stopping the lift and really contracting at the top. By focusing on the glute driving the move, we put more of an emphasis on what we feel working over the full movement. We're not just trying to lift up higher. Because often when we focus on just lifting up higher, we end up arching our lower back and therefore using our lower back and hamstrings more than our glutes. And if the whole point of this move is to establish that mind-body connection to your glutes, you need to focus on the muscle working. Even pulsing at that end range of motion can be really helpful if you're trying to pump and burn that muscle and really fully fatigue it. Tip number two is to play around with the exact hip angle you're using. We might slightly abduct or even externally rotate the hip to help really engage our glutes. Often with form, we see it as this black and white thing where there's one way and one size that fits all. But really we need to listen to what we feel working and then adjust our movements slightly to work with our builds. If you struggle to feel your glutes working, abduct your knee slightly, moving it out to the side, or even turn your knee out so you're externally rotating your hip. This external rotation or abduction can help you engage the glutes if you struggle with that mind-body connection. Just make sure as you externally rotate that you're not turning it into a fire hydrant over a kick back. You wanna really focus on driving that heel towards the ceiling and feeling that glute work. Do not force a position that you do not feel your glutes working during. The whole point is to establish that mind-body connection and really change that recruitment pattern. So by playing around with these little tweaks to exact knee positioning and hip positioning, you can make sure that your glutes are actually engaged. Just be careful with external rotation of your hip if you do have piriformis issues. Tip number three is to keep the knee around 90 degrees. So a lot of times I have clients get really focused on really flexing their knee to exactly 90 degrees and they end up engaging their hamstrings. We don't want our hamstrings or our lower back compensating during this movement. We wanna focus on those glutes working. So you might find that instead of focusing on that a perfect 90 degree angle, you actually kick slightly out as you lift up. While straightening your leg can engage your hamstrings more, you wanna play around with the exact degree of knee flexion that you're in as you do this movement to make sure your glutes are working. The whole point of the donkey kick is to activate the glutes and establish that mind-body connection before you even go into more strenuous activities. The donkey kick can not only be a great move to help you activate your glutes and establish that mind-body connection, but also create volume to increase your muscle hypertrophy. If you've had previous injuries or have muscular imbalances between both sides, the donkey kick is a great unilateral move to include to really establish that mind-body connection and improve those recruitment patterns. If you liked the video, make sure to like it, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe, we're posting new videos each week. Thank you.